don't panic but my couch is here i've been waiting a few months for the sectional to arrive she's finally here so <gasps> let's get her built But now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with, I think I'm gonna keep the accent chair Togo, but I think I'm gonna sell these. The side tables I think are too short. This six penny chair has never really fit in any of my spaces. I wish I had it in couch form. I guess we'll just keep Miss Sixpenny here because I fall asleep on this all the time. I literally nap in this chair, it's the best. I think it looks really good. I don't think I'll have to get a new coffee table for a while. I feel like that fits just fine. All right, I'm putting my legs up and okay, the couch is pretty firm, very firm compared to my cloud couch that I was so used to like sleeping on. I still miss my cloud couch, but it's like 10 grand. So this one was a lot more affordable for the size. I really wanted a U shape and I wanted velvet and I didn't want it in like a crazy color. This was taupe. This is a taupe velvet. I mainly wanted velvet because of Suki. I knew that she eats on the couch and just gets everything on the couch. So I needed something that was gonna be easy to clean. I really should buy scotch card actually. But anyways, I was gonna say, putting my feet up right now to watch the TV, this feels so much better on my neck. Like sitting on the Togo was so, the Togo was just so uncomfortable. I'm like, wait a minute, this is kind of uncomfortable too. <laughs> Okay. God, I miss my cloud couch. There's a reason that couch is 10 grand. Okay. If you sit like this, it's not bad. I can't regret this couch, guys. I can't. I just needed a sectional. This is it. Yep. <laughs> this is me, Loki, regretting this. It's fine. We're fine. Good morning. Suki. What happened? Poor Suki knocked over this plant. See, you gotta be careful, right? Everything's okay. Beep, 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 beep. That is done. My room is a disaster behind me, but I love doing my makeup on the floor, so. Sadly, that is your view. We're going for a very glowy look today. Actually, this is bothering me. I am such a little perfectionist when it comes to my videos, but I'm not an actual like real perfectionist because if I was a real perfectionist, I wouldn't have anything to clean up. It would already just be clean, but I have all of these sweats. These are all sweats, by the way, just sweats that I have no room for, but I like them. I think one of my next projects will be building shelving in my closets. I think I could do it myself. After installing a track, a curtain track by myself, I think I could do anything. Give a girl a drill and a dream and she'll get it done. Speaking of new stuff, I got a ton of PR and I just put it in a Target bag. Having the boxes in my house gives me um, makes me really anxious. I've got an aloe hat. I don't think I'm much of a hat girl. This is a little sheer fanny pack. I actually love this because I have one right now from Art to Pop and it matches my baby carrier, but it's pink. 
so I don't really wear it as often as I'd like because it doesn't go with everything. They sent socks. Alo has amazing socks. Along with this really cool dark gray legging set. I believe I believe these are the Airlift 7.8s. I have these in like every single color. Along with the Airlift bra. Seriously, it's the best. I actually think I have this exact color because I bought it myself. I got a razor from Athena Club and they're whipped shave shaving cream light and fluffy whip for the dreamiest softest most comfortable shave oh that smells good i got a ton of stuff from lossy thon i love them so much i got a whole advent calendar from lossy thon hey suki you can't have that suki loves these duo sticks because she knows how to open them and just like plays with plays with all the makeup I gotta keep that out of her range. La Ton sent me a whole advent calendar and sent me all of these minis of their best products. Their milk concentrate. This is the best hand cream ever. If you have dry, crusty hands like me, you need to try this hand cream. You will never go back, I promise. It's got 25% shea butter and it makes the biggest difference. I don't use any other hand lotions. I just use La Ton because it's that good. I know a lot of people say that, but I swear by it. They also re-upped me on their shower oil. I use this every day as well. It's a really great, it's so, it's an oil. It's a shower oil. So when you put it on, obviously it feels like, literally like you're rubbing canola oil on your body. And then it turns kind of white and it becomes thin. It mixes in with the water. And the smell is one phenomenal and two, it rubs on like a dream like and it just leaves you feeling moisturized and like just smelling heavenly so i love this i feel like my skin just soaks it right up i got more ysl candy lip rouge i love these it's like a lip gloss but in a lipstick little case and the case is just so so fancy i mean i've been using this I remember I saved up to buy one of these in college and I remember thinking like I felt like it was a designer purchase. Okay, I think Suki has makeup. So yesterday I made like a little um, makeup box for Suki. This is an old PR package from YSL and I just put like brushes inside and then clear brown mascara. You can't have that. Look Suki. Do you want lip gloss and like clear lip gloss? But it's so funny. She's like, I don't want that shit. I want the real stuff. She wants the things. I just took this out of her hand and a skin by Kim lipstick. She wants the real shit. She wants to draw. No. No. Impossible to do your makeup. My skin is pretty tan. I've been laying out. We also don't have a lot of plans today other than I was able to return my sectional i just realized like it literally looks gray um it says brown on the site and in the photos it just looked a lot more brown straight up just looks gray they're like your house has no natural lighting i was like there's two windows next to my couch like i i know good lighting when i see it so nice try but that ain't gonna work on me, pal. Okay, I love this sun-kissed shade from, what brand is this? It doesn't, oh, Nude Sticks. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. I got Ilya's newest facial complexion sticks. I'm gonna blend out this blush first. <laughs> Suki, stop. What, what a cute shade. Okay, so this is Ilya's complexion sticks. Face, what is this? Ilya Skin Rewind Complexion Stick. So we've got 6N, so I'm assuming that's Neutral, Aspen, and 7W Poplar. I'm more of a warm tone, so. Oh, oh, that's actually like a really good match. Oh wow, I really love this complexion stick. This is gonna be my new favorite thing. This is great. Wait, I love, 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 love lipstick. It's like a foundation 
and a Mom. concealer in one. We don't. I feel like this is going to cut my makeup getting ready time in half. I'm going to add a bit of a cream. Do you want to do mommy's makeup? Yeah, I just want to look like I just got done tanning. That's always the goal. I'm going to let her take that because she just not know how to open it. And it blends really well with all of my other freckles. I get a lot of freckles in the summer. I just got Tom Ford Weed Mineral. It's a very like smoky, musky. Wow, that's a really great scent. Oh my gosh, love Tom Ford. YSL, isn't this crazy? Suki broke this YSL Couture Clutch and YSL just so happened to scent the exact one she ruined. Fate, it's kind of crazy. So this is a really, really great eyeshadow palette. They also sent over their waterproof mascara um, and Valentino Beauty. I told you guys how much I love their brow trio and they sent me their eye to cheek. I've actually, I have this eye to cheek in a different shade. This is shade eight and it's like this stunning peach shade. It's so, so pretty open and i think that would really i think the peach would really complement would really complement the sun kiss shade that i'm wearing right now oh perfect for the summer oh my gosh just drown me in this i actually really like the the peach more. I feel like it's a pretty close shade to bronzer, so it looks more natural. It is so pretty. Love. Akosa's liquid brow. And then I also found it in the colored one. I never really use these, but that was a lot easier than filling in my brows. Why have I not used this before? That was actually like incredibly easy. I had a realization that a perfect wing liner is created with a used up felt tip pen. If you're using a brand new fresh liner, I think you have to be really skilled and super accurate versus when you're using a much older used pen, you have more like flexibility to make mistakes and it's not as pigmented so when you do apply it it's not like a dramatic oh my god black liner oh my gosh i'm here talking about my used up stella eyeliner and i can't find it okay we're gonna use this lancome idol which i love so much it's light brown and honestly i have no reason to do a dark black liner today anyways we're wearing peach blush i feel like i should just do light natural shades okay my lashes grew overnight i don't know what happened this is my favorite highlighter hourglass o m g look at that highlight Back on the highlight, please. Okay, that was literally so chaotic, but I still wanna show you guys my outfit of the day. Okay, so my friend Kat and her daughter Soleil are going to a cute little play area for kids. Um, and my other friend is bringing her son. So us three mamas is gonna get together. The kids are gonna play. Um, so I definitely wanna wear something comfortable. Definitely wearing these jeans. I've been wearing these baggy low slung jeans a lot. They're my like to know it. They're from a Goldie. Top is Aritzia. I think it's Sunday Best. And I just got this button down from Saison and I love it. I think it's the perfect oversized fit. Love it so much. So you might wear this, but 
The weather's kind of weird. It's been thundering lately and storming, so it's kind of cool outside. And I might be able to get away with wearing this sweater. I also just got this from Cezanne. It's so cute. Having Suki has really made me appreciate color and has made me like pink again. I feel like it's just brought in my inner child alive. But you can wear this sweater actually two ways, like so. This cardigan comes in like 12 other colors. There's like a butter yellow that I really wanted, but it's sold out. There's a darker, dustier pink. This one's powder pink, and I got in an extra, extra small for like, um, I want, I wanted this to be like a tighter fit. I got this in gray and like a medium, and I think it was too big. Like this is meant to be worn as like fitted and smaller. I also got this knitted tube top. This actually might be cuter to wear, but I don't, I don't wanna be like too dressed up. Suki is playing in my bathroom right now. I bought little cabinet protectors, like childproof protectors, and she somehow broke through them. So I guess they aren't childproof. Isn't this so cute? Oh my gosh. They had like a yellow, a butter yellow set. A little matching tube top and cardigan. I really wanted it, but it was sold out. And lastly, we got this adorable cardigan. It is so soft and I love the pattern. So you, what are you doing back there? The sleeves are like shorter, which I love. They kind of rest above your wrist so you can wear like jewelry and a watch and it won't cover it. Just feels very feminine. I love this square neckline. Really shows off the collarbone in a very flattering way. I got this in an extra small. They also have it in black and I was this close to getting it in black because I want to obviously stick to staples, but it's also the summertime and I was like, you know what? I need some color in my closet. I also got a ton of boys lie, so I'm gonna try it on for you guys. Okay, fun. We've got this ombre tank top. This baby blue color is really fun. We've got like a cute little cherub sniffing daisies. This is adorable. My younger self always wanted those like spray painted shirts in this colorway that you'd see at like tourist states like Florida, for example, I'd always see girls wearing stuff like this with their name on it and I always wanted it. Never got it, so this is my moment. I am actually really obsessed with these pants. This is so comfortable. It says, boys lie. I'm like trying to get a cute shot for the thumbnail. All right, I'm going with the tube top for the play date today because it's looking cloudy out. No, I'm so sad. This is like one of my favorite tank tops. I just love the cut and the fit. The racer back is so cute. And I love that it's an off-white. It's not a white tank top, it's cream. It's Calvin Klein and I got a stain on it. We're wearing Shy Lullaby earrings. I love it. It looks like a heart from the side. It's so cute cooking some corn right now it's raining right now and when it rains i lose all sense of time and motivation to do anything i'm gonna cut off the corn usually i have canned corn for suki but i already went through two cans so i'm just gonna cut it off for her we are big fans of corn in this household right Sukes? Kisses take me higher Like a sweet, sweet, sweet song Burning love Anytime I hear Aldous Presley I always think of Lilo and Stitch That's definitely one of my favorite movies It's such a comfort movie You can put that movie on at any time And I wouldn't be mad That and Pretty Woman God, I love Pretty Woman I binged Pretty Woman earlier this year 
about 35 times. I also watched Runaway Bride. I, Richard Gere and Julia Roberts together, just a match made in heaven. Like that's just a duo that cannot be replicated. Who Who is our generation's Julia Roberts and Richard Gere? Is that salty? So he's putting like handfuls of salt in your mouth. I also made tomato soup. I saw a funny video on TikTok and they were saying marriage is hard because you constantly have to figure out three times a day what to eat and where to eat. And it's super like exhausting and usually both parties don't know. And then if a party does know, the other party doesn't like that place or isn't in the mood for it, yada yada. And then like, if you have kids, it's like even worse because now you got multiple people trying to weigh in. Is it a formal dinner? Is it like a casual seating? Your kisses take me higher. Burn in love, burn in love. God, I love Kerrygold butter. Seriously, Kerrygold's the best freaking butter, guys. Kisses take me higher. I bought yeast. I really wanna try to make my own bread. Wait, I could do this right now. Should I take on that challenge? Or is that a bad idea? I have things, I, I have things I gotta get done and then maybe I'll do it tomorrow. I'm actually really, proud of this tomato feta soup that I made because I made it without an immersion blender, which is something I desperately need for making soups. I'm also playing a very dangerous game eating red tomato soup with this white top, but I'm willing to test the odds. See, this is why I stain everything. And then we've got some feta. I understand why the Greek put feta on everything. I cut up things that I use regularly, like this is garlic and onion and just keep it in the fridge. So much easier and more efficient than having to bring out the cutting board, peel the garlic, peel the onion, cut the onion, you just pull it out of the fridge. Drinking um, Alani peach. I don't drink coffee anymore. Suki slipped off of her little stand. Usually when she's ready for a nap, she hurts herself somehow. I don't know if that's a common thing with kids. I'm really hoping it's common. She'll like slip and fall, hit her head, and then it's a lot more dramatic because she's cranky. And... So we're gonna try to put her down for a nap. Look at her with her blankie. Here, Suki. Are you sad? Look at her, just... I know you're sad, but you look adorable. Just know that. My little angel. She's contemplating everything. <laughs> Why are you so stinking cute? couch is getting returned and I am not risking anything by eating on it. If it was more firm, I think I could get past the color. The color isn't terrible. One thing I've noticed about trying new things, you're gonna have some misses. It's like fashion, you know? You gotta try the new recipes and they're not always gonna be winners. I one time made this soup off of Goop because I have a few goop.com recipes that I love. Shout out Gwyneth, I love you. So I got into this goop phase because I had like two dishes that were winners. So I had this idea like, oh, if I get any recipe off of goop, it's gonna be incredible. And so I found this one, I think it was like a vegetable, it's their twist on a minestrone soup and it had Worcester sauce in it. It sat in my fridge for like, I'm not kidding, weeks because I just didn't know what to do with it. I should've just thrown it out, but I spent so much money on the amount of vegetables that went into this dish. Like I think I wasted $60 and I, it was disgusting. The Worcester sauce was so overpowering. So that's the thing about trying new recipes. Like it might be a lot of waste of money. So I get why people don't cook much, but all in all, I really do enjoy making my own food. Like making my own soup is something i recognize as being very pleasurable i love it a lot there's this really good there's this really good lemon orzo soup at whole foods that i'd love to recreate 
It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. I don't know the rest. <laughs> Suki's baby blanket, or Suki's blankie, got a little bit of egg yolk on it this morning. So I thought, you know what? My sheets haven't been washed in I think like maybe over a month. Gross, I know, but I always shower before bed. And my duvet has some weird green, bright neon green stuff from Suki. You also won't believe what I did. This is the Casper Snow and it comes like this is removable and Suki peed on it a few times. So I was like, oh, let's just put it in the washer. When it got rolled up in the dryer, it got stuck. It was so high that it burned it. And this is literally so itchy and uncomfortable. <laughs> it's like, it's really hard, which, which sucks because this part is so soft and luxurious. And then it's like, eh, and it's right in the middle of the freaking bed. <laughs> So sometimes I feel it if I don't have two layers of sheets on. They don't sell the covers separately, so I'm pretty much effed, pretty much. So, yep, just summerisms. Only I would do that, swear. I also didn't even bother to look up the cleaning instructions until after that happened, and it said, do not take off cover. Get it professionally cleaned. Like, it doesn't even say, oh, hand wash. Like, it literally says, don't touch it. And that's what I get. This mattress is bomb. I also have the cooling mattress or the cooling Casper pillows. So your pillow always feels like the cold side of the pillow. Like, I rave about this mattress. It is genuinely worth the freaking hype. I did an ad for them back when I was in LA for a short stint and I tell my friends, anybody, I'm like, oh, you're looking for a Casper or you're looking for a mattress? Get a Casper. Get the snow. My mom actually bought one too shortly after because it's just the best mattress. I swear. The cooling technique or whatever technology is top tier. It's a must. Oh, I am silly. I'm sitting here waiting for my friends to text me like on the way headed there. It is Friday, not Saturday. So I'm waiting around for nothing, but me and Suki have just been hanging out on the couch. I've been um, telling my tale of the couch saga. I think I want to attempt to make bread. We're gonna attempt. I'm starting to feel real silly now because this recipe on here is for dinner rolls, not for a loaf of bread. Why did I assume that it was for a loaf of bread? Because I wanted a loaf of bread and I just saw a recipe. Okay, Summer, anyways. So I was like setting, setting up to get all my separate ingredients and then I saw roll into nine balls and I was like, this is a loaf of bread. And I took out these little jars to like get my separate ingredients and have them look presentable. So I could just pour it in and realized. And then I was like, oh wait, I have chia seeds and I have coconut milk. I should make some parfaits. You just put in like a spoonful or two. And then you just pour your choice of milk. Hopefully Suki likes this. I made it for her when she was like a baby baby and she ate a little bit, but I feel like when she was an infant, she just ate whatever we put in her mouth. This is actually pure honey from pharmacy. I thought this was a cute gift. And yeah, you can put your own sweetener and then you just close them on up. This is a good little snack to have. Suki just took a shower, she cuddled in bed for a little bit in her crib. Hopefully she gets started. She was rubbing her eyes on the couch. So then I was like, okay, let's go take a shower. And then she was rubbing her eyes in the shower. 
And then I was like, perfect, she's gonna be real tired. And then we get into the crib, she's rubbing her eyes. And she was doing this cute thing where she was like tucking me in. I was lying in her crib and she's tucking me in with a blanket. Every time I put my head up, she'd like shove it down to, I guess, tell me to go to sleep. I don't know what she was trying to tell me. We read a book twice and then she wanted to leave her room. She had some milk too, so. Hey, 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 don't put that in there, please. So while I clean, I guess she'll just play and then um, I'll just put her back in there because it's, oh my gosh, it's 7.47, she needs to go to bed. Okay, after I do this, I'm just gonna put her in her room and shut the door and let her cry for a little bit. I never let her cry for more than like 10 minutes. I feel really bad when she cries. I think every mom just feels bad and kind of gives in. But at some point, I know it's like not really good for them to give in every time. Suki, what are you doing there? Okay, it's time for bed. Mommy loves you, okay? Go to sleep. I love you. I genuinely don't want to do the dishes, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, today was a really good day, kind of slow. I got some work done. I had some pretty great ideas. Just really trying to push myself to post more without really thinking about it. I think it's easy to get in your head. Good morning, Suki is drinking some milk. We just got dressed because today is the actual day that we have a play date. And um, we also have a REM beauty event that we're going today. They are launching a new blush and another product. And I guess they're launching it at the Ulta nearby. So I thought that was really cool. I love that there's more brand events happening here in Phoenix and Scottsdale. It's really exciting because so many people have told me like you gotta move to LA or New York and I'm like well hopefully they come to us because I'm not leaving anymore. I decided to invite my friend Laura and her son Ocean. Laura is the sweetest soul. She's got such an amazing YouTube channel so you guys should totally go follow her, Laura King. Hopefully the kids will be um all right. Oh that's from this is from insert name here. Are you a cranky quinky quink? Also, last night, I decided late at night to put some recipes together. So I'll tell you guys about those. I've got to go. So I thought that you put it in the fridge, but it actually says that that slows down the rising of your dough. So they actually recommend to leave it out. Here she is. I don't really know the next steps. I got to look up the recipe but it hasn't been 10 hours yet, so when I get back, it should be ready. Sweetheart, what's wrong? Did you just, did we wake up on the wrong side of the bed today? I'm a little worried because she is on her like third or fourth meltdown today. It's not even 10 a.m., so. I love you, my little schnookums. Also, how cute is this little dress? It's got flamingos on it. It is vintage baby gap and it's just so cute. Baby pink. I love my little baby. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we gotta go. Okay, we're out front. Uh, we're in front of Ulta Beauty. I'm waiting for Laura. Little jellies, cute jelly shoes. And I got her this cute little backpack. And I just use this as a diaper bag. <laughs> Hi, Hi. You see Suki?
just left the pop-up and it was so cool so cute i'm so excited <laughs> and um it was so fun the kids had so much fun like i'm so happy brands are coming to phoenix i'm getting really excited and i got a goodie bag i'll show you guys later we are pulling up to our my favorite coffee shop press coffee if you guys are in arizona you gotta try press coffee it's the best i love their matcha and chai it's like so sweet and creamy and just oh it's the best and there's like a little park um that we get to chill out like swinging chairs so we're gonna have um another little play date Help. Help. she's so good about not jumping off things oh she's gonna jump off of everything she's a climber for sure wait he'll jump yeah oh my gosh he It was so fun. And Suki, I gave Suki my matcha. Um, she drank a lot of it, surprisingly. She's going to have so much energy. Um, but we got to act fast with stains. I've realized the longer you wait, the harder it is to get it out. We're not waiting. Because this is a cute dress. But Laura was talking about... Uh, my plans for Easter, and I didn't even think about that. I, there's so many things to think about as a mom. I don't think of all of them. So it's really helpful to have other mom friends to remind you. She asked if I'm gonna get a dress for Suki, probably. I've got so many cute vintage ones. So I'll probably use those, actually. This one could have actually been really cute. She has a pink striped one that I love putting her in. Might do that. Oh no, I don't know if this is gonna come out. Sometimes I'll use Folex if it's really stubborn. Gotta think about Easter now. Gotta think about Easter and her birthday. Oh my God, I don't know what I'm gonna do for her birthday. The dough is done. Dough has risen. Hopefully Suki sleeps. I don't know if she will. Fingers crossed. Place a Dutch oven with the lid on and preheat. I don't know if I'm supposed to completely cover this in flour. I know the girls be just doing this and putting it into a ball. Well, literally, I just am doing what all the moms are doing on TikTok. Okay, I kind of wish I hadn't done that because it looked really nice. All right. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just gathering it into a ball. I'm putting my Le Creuset. I love this thing so much. I regret getting gray. I wish I got like white or baby pink or something more light, but she's still amazing. I love this thing so much. It's so worth it. Hey Siri, can I bake a loaf of bread without parchment paper? Many baking recipes for cakes, muffins, or quick bread skip the parchment entirely and just call for greasing and flouring the pan to prevent sticking. For roasting or baking savory foods, aluminum foil is a good alternative that allows for a simple cleanup. Okay, thanks. No problem. I love using Siri. I used to be like too shy to use Siri, but I use her all the time now. I don't think I'm doing this twisting thing right definitely i think it takes a lot of practice all right i usually see people score the bread with like a razor but i don't have that so i guess i'm gonna try with a knife <laughs> it's 
This is so hard without a razor. Okay, she's in and we'll put her in the oven. And here she is. She looks a little crazy, but Can't wait to eat her. Oh my God, this is so cool. Bread is so good. I added some jam and of course, Kerrygold butter. This jam I was telling you guys about. Mm. It's so good. I can't believe you can just make your own bread. This is so fun. It's so rewarding. I can't believe I could just make bread. I was editing and sometimes I come into Suki's room to edit and do voiceovers when she's watching TV or playing. And she came in here. She does. We read a few books too. I just love her so much. I literally can't express it enough. Is gonna explode from how much I freaking love her. She's just so cute. I'm so, I'm just so happy. I want like 20 more Sukis. I love her so much. Look at her. She's so cute. I freaking love her. I love you. I love you. I love you. Trader Joe's haul. I got basil, mint. Gosh, I love the smell of mint. Oregano and rosemary. And obviously these are great because they're like $2.49, which is the same amount to get the little packs at like Sprouts or any other. Oh my gosh. We went to Sprouts too and the bag is in. I got like mozzarella and stuff. Okay, we got the sprouts purchase. I had to get my favorite Olipops, all of my favorite flavors. Um, I also got a matcha from Pop and Bottle. These are the best. I kind of forgot about them. I used to get them every week. I don't know why I stopped. I also got some dill because I want to make tzatziki sauce. And then I got oven roasted turkey breast. Oh my gosh, at Trader Joe's, I saw a picture at the register and it said recall on soup dumplings. We literally ate soup dumplings last night for dinner because I was too lazy to cook. We got burrata. I love burrata, oh my gosh. Got mozzarella. I wanna make a chicken pesto sandwich. And then um, smoked sliced gouda for a grilled cheese to go with my tomato feta soup. I don't know how Gouda and feta is gonna go, so maybe I'll just do a tomato soup. We got kale for a chicken, Italian chicken kale soup. Italian, a chicken and Italian kale soup. No, chicken, chicken noodle, chicken noodle and Italian kale soup. <laughs> I don't know. Got lemons for the soup as well. I use these reusable bags instead of the plastic when I can, when I remember to bring them. I saw these huge strawberries. Unsalted butter for baking and whatnot. Chicken broth for the chicken soup, even though it's supposed to be stock, but I really don't know the difference. I think broth you can drink immediately. Pesto for the pesto sandwich. Corn, because Suki loves corn. Tomatoes for the soup. Oh no, my avocado got smashed. I'm just gonna put this on our eggs for tomorrow for breakfast and then on the sandwich for lunch. Oh, oh my God. Look at Suki. She had her feet up for a second. We got chicken breast too. I want to put a tomato in the sandwich. So we got heirloom tomatoes. These little cukes, little baby cucumbers. I love them. I got to make something for dinner. Suki's breakfast today. Baked butter, garlic, chicken on Greek yogurt with avocado, strawberries, chia seeds, and coconut milk with maple syrup and... 
couples. I'm pretty much having the same thing as Suki. Wait. Everyone is dressed. We're about to go get my hair cut with Miss Maggie at her new salon. We did not go on the play date yesterday. That might happen today, but I'm hoping. Don't hit the button. Suki knows how to hit the record button, you little rascal. The couch guys are coming around 12. So I've got to run back here, let them pick it up and then possibly go to the play date. But shirt is Saison. I think I showed you guys this outfit already. And I've been wearing my Miu Miu on her cross drop. Usually I don't like cross bodies, but I guess things have changed and I get why people wear cross bodies. It's just so much easier for it to be hanging across from me. I've become a mom. I really have. I just look, I have all this stuff to carry. I found this old poolside bag. It's so cute. And I'm lugging so much stuff with us, like an iPad, a water bottle, like four drinks. Let's go. I ordered an immersion blender, but I could not wait to make this tomato soup. So, oh, here is the blade. So we're gonna make a little bit more of a mess because I just love this tomato soup so much. It's a rainy day, it's about to rain again. It's rained a lot. What? Mommy's making tomato soup. You love tomato soup. Whoa. <laughs> she didn't even fall. She just slightly tapped her foot against baby. Oh my God. <laughs> Did you come over here because your show stopped? I can't fill it too high. Okay, everything is blended. Milk. Milk. Uh huh. You're probably gonna want some soon, huh? Soup is all blended. It's just diced tomatoes, dried basil, oregano. I also use the fresh basil and oregano that I bought, those little plants. Heavy cream. Okay, we're gonna add. Oh, thanks, Suki. <laughs> gonna add feta. I think Suki's gonna dump, Suki will probably dump this everywhere. Getting ready. We're gonna go see my friend Mackenzie and her little boy. This is on button down. And my new sporty and rich set. Isn't this so cute? It doesn't look cold, but there's a big cloud coming. It's a little chilly and windy. The couch is gone. I've gotta move the old ones back now. I just vacuumed. I'm so obsessed with these sambas, guys. Are you seriously? 
need a pair, whether it's this colorway, you just need a pair of Sambas. I don't know, like the way they're shaped is just so flattering. I accidentally bought the wrong Adidas last year when these started really getting popular. And I was so confused as to why they didn't look as cute and made my feet look kind of long like most girls. And it's because I got the gum style and not the Samba. Just pulled up to Love Sack. Let's get some dumplings. Thank you. Cool. <laughs> Fun. Oh, I love the pink rinds. Yeah. Yummy, are you hungry? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. All right, guys, I'm home and you won't believe what happened. I could not vlog because I had Suki cranky, wanted to watch TV on the iPad and I was so distraught because my car got towed. Leave it to me to get my car towed. I parked in a parking lot, opened up the app to pay, and then I didn't. And then time went by and I think I got towed like immediately. So thank God Mackenzie was there. Dropped us off at home, dug it up, and I'm just praying that it's not a lot of money. It's just funny because Mackenzie literally texted me and was like, we're going to this place if you're down for a chaotic dinner. And it's like, boy, was that chaotic. Like, what are the odds? I've never been towed in Arizona, so it's just like crazy that that happened. Yeah, guys, fucking pay for parking. I can't believe that happened. We're at the repair shop. He's doing so good. We've been here for about an hour. We picked up the car earlier this morning. It was like 120 bucks for towing my car. And then we just paid for an oil change. Whoa, he's doing so well. 